For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shinge Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today we have a really, really short video. It's kind of a rambling of my own because of some big reviewers. With uh, the recently launched RX 6600 XT, I noticed that, I noticed this before with the RX 6800 and the RX 6700 XT, but now I noticed once again that the big reviewers aren't showing all the data they should. And when I say all the data in terms of GPU benchmarks, I mean like stock results, overclocked results. I do understand why they do not show the overclocked results, because overclocking results are relative. For example, my GPU can easily reach this level, while your GPU can hardly reach this. So let's say for example my GPU can reach 2500 MHz, yours can't reach 2400 MHz, it depends on the luck of the draw. So some GPU samples are better, some others are worse. That I understand of the stock OC results, but for example, the only, the only one of the big three, let's say, of the big three tech reviewers in terms of hardware, I say Linus, whatever, Hardware Unboxed and Gamers Nexus, the only one of the three that actually presents OC and undervolt, so overclock and undervolting results, is Gamer Nexus. Out of three, just one of them presents the OC and OV results, but that I do understand. What I can't understand is why they don't show the SAM and resize bar results. This is literally a technology that takes like one minute to activate and gets you a big boost in most titles. For example, in NVIDIA titles you can also enable the resize bar, in NVIDIA GPUs, sorry, and in AMD GPUs you can enable the SAM, Smart Access Memory feature, that will grant you a lot of FPS in some titles, let's say Cyberpunk 2077, Red Dead Redemption 2, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and some other titles. So basically it's free performance and they are not showing you that. I don't understand why. I mean, some people may say that it is because it isn't available in all hardware. For example, you need to have at least a B450 motherboard, B550 or X570. I think that the X470 motherboards also support it. You need to have at least a Ryzen 3000 or 5000 series generation. <laughs> A Ryzen 3000 series or 5000 series CPU or an Intel CPU, for example, 8th gen and above, I think, something like that. But basically, from some years till now, all the motherboards and CPUs can use smart access memory so or resize bar, so why not include those results? For example, I don't know if it is the first time you're watching my videos, but in all my GPU and all my CPU comparisons, at least the recent, the recent ones after smart access memory and resize bar, I do show you the results of at stock, overclocked and undervolt, and overclocked and undervolt plus smart access memory. This to show you the full potential of your card and to show several steps of performance, like the stock, overclock and undervolt, and those with SAM, okay? And I do it because I think that's the most realistic scenario that you can get to actually show people the several steps of performance, like I said before, and big reviewers aren't doing it. So please guys, you have teams working for you, I work alone, so why not just step it up a bit and actually have the SAM results so people actually, so people can actually see what their card is worth, okay? The same for the 6700 XT, people were comparing it with the RTX 3060 Ti or the RTX 3070. While in some games the smart access memory will give you a big boost compared to the resize bar technology, uh, making the 6700 XT surpass, surpass, surpass the 3070. So yeah, that's why I actually want to, to include those scenarios in order to have 
the full picture. So if we, if you don't have, um, if you don't have SAM activated, then you have this. The 3070 is faster, for example. If you have SAM activated in this particular game, then the 6700 XT is faster, and so on, so on, so on. Basically, that's it. So once again, guys, please step it up and present some smart access memory results and some resize bar technology results, okay? And well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and sorry for my rambling because this really, really makes me sick. I just want them to show the maximum results, the, the higher amount of results possible so people can actually see what they are getting or not getting, okay? Also, I'm currently testing the RX 6600 XT uh, in normal tests, like I said before, stock OCUV and OCUV Plus M, and I will be comparing it with this 5700 XT and Vega 56 for the first video. More tests will come, obviously. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.